Hello guys, today we're going to be drawing a black and white animal on a skateboard. Lucien, what is that black and white animal? A panda. It's a panda on a skateboard, guys. Let's get started. Right, Lucien, what are we drawing today? We are a panda on a skateboard, okay. Um, have you ever seen a panda on a skateboard? No. No, are you sure? Okay. Um, I think I might have done, but more of that later on. Let's divide our piece of paper into four equal pieces. Now pressing really super lightly with these lines. These lines aren't part of your drawing. They are just simply there to guide us as to where to put things. Okay, so pencils down. Sharpie, let's go for it. Now the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're going to do the panda's nose. And the panda's nose is a nice sort of upside down triangle. It's gonna go on that line and we're going to go like this. A little bit of a curve at the top and we're going to color that in. And that is our first task. A nice squidgy panda's nose to sniff out all of that bamboo. Okay. Right. Now the mouth is just a little grinning mouth. And all we're going to do is just something like this. Okay. We might come back to the mouth a little bit later on. Good. Right. The eyes. We're going to do the eyes before we do the black shapes around the eyes. And we're going to try and get the circles roughly the same. So I'm going to go circle. And I'm going to go circle. And there we have our panda's eyes. Now around the edge of the eye, obviously, the panda's got these black shapes. And they're going to kind of lean in a little bit. And they look like black jelly beans. Like so. Okay, through that gap and up like so. Now these will need to be coloured in. I think we might do that a little bit later on. All right. Now the inside of the eye, you're going to do a smaller circle right in the middle. Try and press lightly with your pen. Okay. Smaller circle there and there. And then we're going to do the very important bits of light. So we're going to go one and two, and then we're going to go one and two, okay? Half of that is going to be black, and the other half we're going to leave for later on to colour in. Okay? Good stuff. Now, above the um, eyes with these little eyebrows and they're going to be pointing up. Like so. Now for the edge of the head, this is the only time we're going to do this, we're going to use a grey. Okay? So just put your sharpie down for one minute. That's it, get the eyebrows coloured in. And we're going to go like so. We're going to go up. Spiky, spiky, spiky. Down. Spiky, spiky. And around. And a bit of spiky, spiky. And we're just doing that because we don't want that line to be black. It's just gonna add a little bit more to our painting. It's not even a painting, is it? It's a drawing. Right, let's get the uh, ears in. Now the ears are gonna sit here, and they're gonna sit here. Okay. And they will be colored in later on. So we'll just leave those for now, it's looking really good. Right, he's flexing his pecs. So we're gonna go lump, lump, And then we're just gonna go up and just have a little simple little fist there and bring it around. And then 
to give it a go. Just a little simple fisty pour there and bring it around. Okay, don't worry too much about these shapes. Just bring it around. That's it. Yours is a bit wider than mine, never mind. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to do the top of his tummy. So we're going to bring that line down a bit and then go like this, okay? And then link it up like so. Now, all of this stuff later on is going to be black, all right? But we're not going to color it in at the moment. Now, the lower part of his tummy, we're going to go down a little bit here and then you're going to come down like this. Watch carefully and around. So his tummy is kind of Pushing out, that's it, good stuff. Right, here is the um, bit we need to look really carefully. You're gonna come as close to the edge of the page with that, with, um, because we're having a skateboard here. So we don't wanna go right to the edge, but we want his leg moving forward. So the legs are come down and then like that. Okay, so you have a little space, that's it, good. And then we're gonna go pour, 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 and then one behind. Yeah, excellent. And then we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go down. Now this foot is at the back, so we can do his tricks. So we're gonna come down here, and then we're gonna go pour, pour. It's going to bring it around so it looks like you've got one foot forward. Fabulous. Right, now it's a slightly tricky bit. We need to get the angle right. So we've got the skateboard underneath here. Okay, let's just move this up a little bit. So, watch the angle. I'm going to go from here, I'm going to go up at an angle like so. Try and keep the line straight, but it doesn't matter if you wobble a little bit. Okay. Now here, you're going to do, without going too near the bottom, we're gonna go about underneath this part of the pool, and we're gonna go up, and then you're gonna go like that. Look at that, perfect. Okay. Now from this here, this is the bit that's going to make it look a little bit 3D. We're just going to do an angle that goes like so. Okay. Perfect. And then what we do is we curve it around at the end and it gets slightly narrower as we go towards that edge. That's it. Then we double up this angle here we go right the way back, you can get a little bit smaller as you go round, and then we get to the top, it goes off like that. Yeah, that might be an easy way of doing it. This looks pretty much like the panda I saw skateboarding actually. Okay, we link it up here. This line here goes there, it doesn't go to the top, it just goes underneath. Okay. And then what we do is we do a little bit of another smaller piece here, which adds a little bit of um, shadow. That's it, okay. Right, the wheel's a little bit tricky, but let's give it a go. So the first wheel is underneath this foot here, and we're going to go oval. That's it. Doesn't matter, it doesn't really look like a circle, to be fair, but never mind. <laughs> then we're gonna go inside and inside again. Okay, so a little bit of detail there on his wheel. We do like the yeah. wheels. Yeah, that's what we're doing, the wheels. <laughs> do you mean the trucks? Yeah. So look, we're gonna make it look 3D by coming around like that and just bringing it off to the edge like that, okay? So you've got the side of the wheel going on. When all this is colored in, it's gonna look a little bit better. And then we're gonna do a line that goes off underneath the skateboard, the trucks, okay? 
Over here, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna make it a bit bigger. It's gonna be on that corner. So you're gonna go oval, and then piece on the inside. That's it. And then the 3D bit around the edge. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do next is about here, we're going to have a shape like so. So it's another little oval showing. Okay. And then we're gonna come around like this. And then finally, we're gonna go along there and along there. Now lots of this skateboard will, will look much more 3D when we've got some color on it and some shadow, okay? And then we have a tiny little piece here that links up for the truck, okay? What's he holding in his hand? Bamboo, good stuff. So we could have a couple of little branches here that he's holding. And they can just go up like this. Nice piece of bamboo. And then and he's off to the skate park. He's off to meet Arky in Manly, in Manly Skate Park. I think that's where he's going, isn't it? So there we go. We can have bamboo flowers, that's fine. Now, this drawing's really gonna come alive with the black pen and the shadow, but that, for now, is uh, the drawing. So Lucian, thank you very much. Uh, what a fantastic skateboarding pen that you've drawn. Um, let's get some color in. Okay, let's do that. I think you know what it's time for. It's time for the colouring in. Let's start with the black. Thank you. 